Hi everyone, welcome to the Sip and Spin. I am the tipsy spinster and of course, new shoes mean a new dress. Today on the show, I am going to talk a little bit about the Shave 'em to Save 'em breed Dorset Horn. In my glass is a lovely combination of rhubarb cordial, sparkling water, and a rhubarb stock for garnish. Rhubarb cordial is incredibly easy to make. You can find a lot of the recipes online. You just need to search for it. Basically what you're doing is you're reducing rhubarb down into a syrup with sugar and a little bit of water. And that's what gives you this beautiful color right here. And what you end up with when you put in a little bit of seltzer water is a very dry and yet refreshing beverage that you can enjoy on hot summer days. And for those of you that want to spruce it up just a little bit, you can always add just a touch of gin, vodka, or rum. So we're going to talk a little bit about Dorset. There are two kinds of Dorset horn breeds. There is the Dorset horn, and then there's the Dorset down. And I've got an example of both. For the Shave 'em to Save 'em initiative, they are looking at the conservation or the Dorset horn breed specifically. Now, generally, this breed is a white horned breed. However, you do get a variety of colors once in a while. As you can see, this is Annabelle. Annabelle comes from Iron Water Ranch. And I wanted to talk just a little bit about what you get when you purchase a fleece directly from a ranch. I was able to watch the shearing of this, so not only did I get to see the animal, I got to see the sheep being shorn by Jake Valentine of Dark Side Shearing, and then I got to bid on the fleece. Now, as you might guess, when you're bidding on an auction, the prices do go up, but even though I'm paying a little bit more for this fleece, I know I'm also supporting the farm as well. So you have to keep in mind, caring for sheep requires, of course, as you know, food, water in the winter you need to supplement with grains and hay and if you're growing the hay you have to harvest it as well as some of those hidden costs like vaccines, deworming, vet bills, health care and things like that. Healthy sheep are happy sheep and that shows in their fleece. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about Annabelle but I want to open nubs. In this box is nubs and as you can see it is what we would call an exploding box and Jake is the master of cramming as much fleece as humanly possible in the smallest space he possibly can. For those of you that might be out at black sheep gathering this weekend. Dark side shearing is out there along with Meridian Jacobs. Those are two farms that I've talked about on the show. And the neat thing, both Meridian Jacobs and Dark Side Shearing went head to head at this year's sheep to shawl competition at Black Sheep Gathering. It was a heated contest between four teams and Meridian Jacobs came in third. Dark Side Shearing came in second. The difference between the two was only one point and the shawls are absolutely beautiful. So for those of you that are either on Dark Side Shearing or Meridian Jacobs Facebook page, please check out the shawls. They are there for you to look at and the patterns were just stunning. And if you're out at Black Sheep Gathering, you can certainly say hey to Jake. He would be more than willing to talk to you. And as you know, here we go. Let's see how much fleece was in here. It's starting to expand. And we'll get it out of the box. And here we go. So in this box, five pounds. Jake was able to get five pounds of fiber in that box. This is nubs. And when nubs washes up, yep, we've got a little bit of a, a color variation on here. Oh, this fleece is just going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's take a look at what we have. We've got some grays. We'll have some white whites. One of the things that you want to check for 
in a fleece. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. This is going to go to the mill. Um, I will be sending the majority of this to alpaca pines for processing but before I do that I want to make sure that this is mill ready so if you're contemplating or if you're thinking about sending a fleece to a mill there are a couple of things that you might want to check before you do so one you want to check for the lock integrity so is it a strong lock and we call that the ping test and I usually go through and try and find a couple locks to pull from to see if it's going to be sound and it absolutely is and because a lot of these sheep are coated I'm going to check and see if the tips come off nope this one does not so let's check Annabelle now I'm pretty sure on Annabelle she was not coated so she's got a little bit of sun bleaching and let's see Annabelle. So with Annabelle, you can see how the tip is just a little bit of a different color. And yep, the tip comes right off. So that's one of the things that I would want to let the mill know because, or I would want to do some processing because what happens is if this gets sent through the carter, these little pieces right here are going to turn the fiber or it's going to end up with a neppy fiber and I've talked a little bit more about that. So what we're left with is this and that's what we want going through the mill. And as you can see, these are both the horned dorset and you can see the locks are very long on Annabelle and Nubs. And I have another example as well. I have Darcy here, and Darcy also comes from Ironwater Ranch, but I want to show you the difference. Now, Darcy, even though her tips are a little bit sun bleached, they don't come apart. So this is a very good fleece, and most of this is already at the mill. I just kept a little of it back so I could show you, but look at the difference in lock structure. As you can see, Darcy has a much shorter lock structure. Darcy is what we would call a down breed. And if you can see, and I'll be able to demonstrate this a little bit more when I get it washed up, the structure and the texture is definitely different. The two horned breeds are much softer than the down breed and I think that's just because there's a little bit more lanolin in there. It's an older breed, kind of an interesting breed. Again, it's one of those that came over from England and, and it has been a uh, part of the industry for a long time. The Dorset breed is on the threatened list and you've got quite a bit of variety. So I would encourage you to check out the Dorset breed and I'll be spinning some of this up on a later show. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because again I'm showcasing those shave them to save them breeds. So grab a rhubarb cordial and some fun fiber and happy spinning.